So, I uh, finished the story on my main, which I also went and collected all of the... Uh, the, uh, I didn't really pay a ton, ton of attention, so I still kind of don't 100% know what's going on. Um, I also got uh, every one of the... Uh, I spent a day hunting down all of the dragon riding tokens, the glyphs. So we have max dragon riding now, so this will be a lot faster. But yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to Rathian's bitch ass and... Uh, Continue on. I have been expecting you. The Black Dragon Flight will be redeemed. Learn from the past. Look to the future. Every action has consequences. Black Talon! The moment we have prepared for is at hand. To the Obsidian Citadel! The Charadin will fall before us, and the Citadel will be ours! So much confidence, yet the numbers do not lie. I fear the worst. Yeah, you should. We're fucked. But, not my problem. Let's just destroy stuff. Looks like somebody else came through and wiped out all the enemies, which... Fine. Whatever. I want to be a dragon. No, I feel slower because the animation, the run animation is not let your guard down. Is and not as much. Should you have need of aid. I did it with my hunter, but I don't know if I'm gonna need it with my drakthir. I don't know. That's one of the guys we gotta. Oh. Yeah, those guys were fine on my hunter, but uh, I don't have somebody to tank for me in this. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Um, da, 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 da. let's find where to go next, cause no. I am out of range. No, 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 no! Use it, use it, use it, use it. It was a free one, damn it! I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. Wait, you heal? When did you start healing? I accidentally canceled my. Um, okay. We're gonna not fight the Iron Skins, even though it'd probably be useful to do. I'm just not... I'm not gonna risk that. Oh, hey, look, it's a Black Talon. What's shapers? But yeah, I stop healing. I don't like when you do that. I uh, so far, like I again, I didn't pay a ton of attention to everything, so. Um, I'm not 100% on with what's happening. I'll I'll figure the story out from the playthrough. Uh, from the story I did see, it's all right. It's a better story than the FA. I don't know. I didn't hate Shadowlands, so. I know, I know everybody did, and because it was so systems-driven. 
Wait, don't get off the thing. Um, like I didn't hate Shadowlands storyline. You know what? Let's send him that in. See what happens, because I still don't know how to play this class very well. Oh, don't summon a he help. Come on. Come on, don't summon help. Let's look at what we have. Landslide. Sponge is not super useful to me. Um, you know, we don't need rescue. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to put landslide at seven. Prudent embrace. Okay, that's another healing. Okay, what does this do? Also, small bomb, sending the enemy for four seconds, sending the assassins to attack the target. I will crush you to embers. Yeah, that went better. That went that went all right. Um Okay, no time for heroes. Let's try to let's try to take care of that really quick. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to do side stuff on, or not do side stuff on this. Outside of there are some side uh, activities that I, or side quests that I really liked and will be doing. Uh, some of them are just really cute. Oh, uh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Um... We need to kill this person first. And then we can worry about... Ah, uh, fuck me. Please die, please die, please die. Oh, somebody else here. Cool. No, I'm so not used to playing a non-pet class. It's... it's a problem. Ooh, I can skin! Forgot I was a leather... I, I forgot I was a skinner and miner on this. Okay.
Hunt's landslide. Ooh. Targeted. Oh, okay. One more thing to break, and then we're done. Um, I love... Uh, by the way, I love dragon flying. Uh, I did all the races on one character. Or on my main character, and... And yeah, I, I have fallen in love with it. Oh, okay. But we don't fight that. Nor those crafting quests that I have. I'm actually going to untrack those right now. Not tracking. I just want to track main story quests. Do you trust me? No. I don't, Rathian. Champion. 50 is still weaker than what I have. Yeah, let's go. Again, Rathian, you started a world war, an interdimensional slash timeline war. Um, I don't trust you. Therian, and I've never heard of you. Likewise. We'll discuss this later. Okay, so I fucked up and accidentally muted my mic to cough back during that cutscene and then left it muted for about a half hour before realizing. Uh, Sibelian's back, which is cool. Sibelian is a black dragon from Outland. Well, not originally from Outland, but he was stuck in TBC up until now. Like, we have not seen or heard from him since Gruul's Lair, which I never did because I started at the end of TBC, so I never... I mean, like, I've done it, obviously, now on... But I never did it in in time. Um, oh no! I I'm glad they brought him. Back. I think this is me actually talking about it right now. Is talking about uh, Sibelian. I really like the fact that somebody is here to kind of stop Rathian from becoming the aspect, maybe, because fuck Rathian, honestly. I've said this a ton of times, but Rathian is just the worst. He's just the worst. And I would prefer... I, I would prefer Abyssian over Rathian, honestly, but that's never going to happen. Abyssian is not going to be a leader, and that's fine. Um, it's... I don't know. It's nice to have another dragon around. Sorry, I'm like watching what I'm doing and kind of getting lost in it. But yeah, Rath uh, Rathian, we have to help him. 
uh, spoilers for later uh, in this episode or anything after the campaign. Um, you get to choose between the two of them each week for uh, for weekly quests and support, and it's it's non exclusive track, so you can help out one, then help out the other in the next week, and it's fine. Um, hell, even if you choose, I think even if you choose uh, like Sibelian or Rathian, you can still help the other one out by bringing the item that you're supposed to get to the other one. So it doesn't even matter who you choose, it's just who you build rep with. Um, and on my main, I chose uh, I chose Sibelian this week because fuck Rathian. <laughs> and Sibelian has good, uh, has good stuff. Yeah, I, uh... They've been digging Dragonflight. Since I just have to sit here and talk for the fucking half hour. Um, I've been digging Dragonflight a lot. Uh, I just finished doing, uh... Um... Uh, I just finished doing most of the advanced, uh, dragon riding, uh, races, which are pretty fun. Um, I'm really digging the dragon races. Uh, I just like the dragon flying in general, especially since I got everything unlocked for it. It just feels really, really, really good. Um, Blizzard did something good there. They, I kind of hope that this is the way that it is, uh, uh, I hope that it's the way that flying is going forward, honestly. Like, change all of the mounts to have this just permanent just just once this expansion's over just convert the old flying system just do it uh yeah i, I don't know um the story was the story so far has been fine it's not bfa bad it's not uh it's not Shadowlands. I don't think Shadowlands was that bad, honestly. I Shadowlands was boring in some spots, but it had some brighter spots in it and stuff. And it overall felt more consistent story-wise for the main campaign. I'm not talking about I'm talking about everything, but for the main campaign, it felt more consistent than BFA. BFA felt just bad. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting hit. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying there, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah, I I think Dragonflight's pretty all right. Like the Drakthir slash Evoker is really fun. Um, the you know I just thought about the fact that like if they gave Evokers, I mean it's just a combat trigger, but they could make it so that like. If you want to be an evoker or a uh, Drakthir, but you want to be a different class, you just dragon form is, ba is is your opposite, basically, where you're always in your humanoid form. And then dragon form is like, I want to look like a dragon until combat. Um, I don't know. There, there, there's ways to make it work. But yeah, I, I dig what's happening here i dig the new i dig the new stuff i dig the fact that they're just reaching back into every single fucking thing they can to uh pull old stuff out of out of out of the past which is nice hey 63 um i'm not gonna spoil what happens later because i do know of there's a couple more characters that show up that one of them was just like, Oh, you, they found a way to bring you back, which was fun. Um, like I said, I didn't pay a super close attention to the story. I skipped a couple of the cutscenes, half paid attention to the rest. And I did not read any quest text outside of like what the objective was when I played through on my Hunter. So I don't actually know the story, but like from what I, have, from what I've seen, it's pretty good compared to, it's compared to BFA. Yeah, I, I can't. BFA is just like bottom of the fucking barrel for me. Like, like EBC levels of bad for me. Um, 
And this game, this game is no Final Fantasy XIV in its writing. Like, they they need an entirely new writing staff for that. Um, not that I think that the people there are bad. Uh, just that. Well, I mean, obviously some of the people at Blizzard are bad. Uh, not that they're bad writers or anything. It's just that they don't. WoW does not support the same emotional storytelling that the 14 does. But I just enjoy WoW more. And I actually was thinking about this because I was trying to figure out why, besides the gameplay, because I, I like WoW's gameplay more. Um, and I was like genuinely trying to figure out what the hell about WoW do I enjoy more than 14? Like, why do I keep coming back to this and why can I not bring myself into 14? And I finally figured it out. At least I think I did. They are opposite games. 14 is story only. Like, yeah, there's side stuff to do. They're, they're, it's, not, it's not like it's just a stor linear story. The thing in that game is the story. I remember having this talk with Jazz before where it was like, I, I, we were talking about something and I asked, I was like, well, what do you do once you're done with the story? And she's like, well, you just do the next story. And I'm like, what, what do you, because I was like, why don't, why aren't we doing, because we were, tr we were playing together. We were playing 14 together. And uh, I was like, why aren't we doing any of the side stuff? Like what, we meet again. Well, why, why are we just mainlining the story? Because that's what 14 is. It is its story. It's not about the world. It's about its story. And WoW is the opposite, where the story is definitely second place to the playground of a world that they built. And I had that kind of click playing the game earlier today, where I was just like, oh, yeah, like, Wow, well, story's fine. Something is wrong. But it's here. it's secondary to this cannot be. The stone to is to what is actually fun about it, which is Father like broke like broke the dragon broke. races or the Pokemon Snap thing that's in this that I haven't unlocked well. yet, or you know treasure digging or the the it's fucking prepared. making soup. Making soup is so fun. Yes, Chef. Yes. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff. It, it, it's it's a world full of stuff to do. It's a it's a it's a toy bin. Speak your mind. And there's a story there if you want it. It's okay most of the time. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's actually exceptional. Most of the time it's like mid. It's fine. I'll, I will take it. I will pay attention. I will probably remember most of it. But like, the thing I remember most in any of of the expansions of, of anything in WoW is the side stuff. Like, that's where everything is. That's where all the fun is. It's not in it's not in playing through the story and getting emotional over these characters you've gotten attached to, which you can. Like there are characters in WoW, and that's that's fine. Um, but the main thing that it's at least to me, because I don't raid anymore, really, unless it's you know the story, the the fucking um, what did even call. Uh, LFG. Unless it's LFG, I don't raid, which is why I didn't get the slime cat this year or this past expansion. Not that I was playing, because <laughs> I have. I think I have a screenshot somewhere of the last time I had logged into World of Warcraft before I quit after all the Blizzard shit happened. Which I should just say, the only reason I'm playing again is because Bobby Kotick is going to get the biggest goddamn. Uh, fucking payout ever from this, so my $15 does not fucking matter. Um, there's no... The, Blizz the Activision Bl uh, Blizzard uh, thing with Microsoft is going to happen. Like, they'll make concessions and it'll happen. Um, like, maybe, maybe they spin off 
the COD arm of Activision where it's, you know, all the, all of the different studios that develop Call of Duty, they'll spin that off as a separate company or something so it can be independent or, you know, they'll spin off other parts of it or they'll make concessions, they'll do stuff and like promise Sony however long with, uh, for COD or whatever, but like, there's no... I don't see it not happening at this point. Like, half the regulators that have a say in it have already said yes. The other half are either leaning yes or are looking for those concessions. So, at this point, it's gonna happen. And they'll be under new management. And fucking goddamn, like... Yeah, my $15 isn't going to fucking change Bobby Kotick's mind. There's not enough people to who quit playing their game. I mean, fucking Overwatch 2 did better than Overwatch 1. Um, in terms of, like, it's already got, like, massive player numbers and shit. Like, it's... It's fucking whatever. Uh, there is no fixing that. But also, um... Breach's interview with them really kind of kind of changed a lot of things that I was looking at. Is just like they couldn't obviously talk. Like the studio heads obviously couldn't say anything, but like Preach was just like, yeah, everyone there seemed pretty okay. Like, yeah, apparently they fired like thirty-seven people and reprimanded forty more, which was eh, at least there's something. Um, so it seems like there was at least enough of a purge to get some of the assholes out of there, but, you know, it's still under the same management, which sucks. But yeah, that, that fucking Microsoft deal is probably going to go through, so whatever. My 15 goes to goddamn Bobby Kotick again. Um, but anyway, the, the whole thing about it being a playground is why I like it. It's the... Like, I'll do the sides. I, I, I made the story and I did it in two sessions, like two day play times. And I, I'd say it was probably like 12 hours total. And that was with me doing a ton of side stuff as well. I, like, honestly, we're already done with the first zone. Uh, yeah, this episode is the end of the first zone. Um, if this continues at this pace, this will be 12 episodes. Thir well, 13 episodes maybe a 14th um if if this pace keeps up if i just mainline the story it's not gonna be very long so that's fine like I, i'm okay with the story not really taking the front seat because i want to go make soup and go on river raft rides and race my fucking dragon around and like i spent most of one day after i finished the story hunting down the glyphs without like at first without a guide and then for the last few that I couldn't find I I installed Tomcat's tours and just went and got them um it was it was really fun it was just fun and that's the thing like if you want a story with a good game built around it 14 is where you should go like I'm not saying 14 is a bad is poorly made or a bad game or anything it's really fucking good. I just personally do not like the combat in 14 as much. I don't know why, because it's still a, a push-button MMO. But just something feels so different about it that I just... It feels off to me. And I know it's not, but it feels off. And so I stick with WoW, and it's one of those things where... I... I don't know. I, I enjoy the playground. I enjoy having dumb extra things to do that are really fun. And I, I've even gotten back into crafting to where I'm like, uh, you know, this new crafting system's pretty all right. I haven't actually looked at it on screen um, or on camera yet because I haven't, I haven't actually. This character's not a crafter yet. Uh, she will be next episode because I'm switching her to uh, leatherworking because I switched off of uh, of leatherworking on my hunter um, so I'm like I don't I just want engineering because I like engineering 
really care. I'll make myself some bracers and I'll be fine. Um, so this character can be a leather worker. Uh, but like the new crafting system is pretty fun, which is a nice little side activity and I can go make some gold on the auction house and do craft orders and stuff. Um, can, again, the soup, making the soup. I know I've said it like so many times, but the soup is so much fun. Like we were all gathered around Wish I had recorded it because last night, and I will get it on camera. It will be one of the things that I for sure, even if it's after the campaign. Actually, I think it has to be after a campaign. Now to think about it, um, after the campaign, I'll probably do an episode or two of like the side stuff that I can find because there's the soup is so much fun. There was I think like seven or eight of us, and you all stand around the pot, and the big, the big guy, a big cuh. Shit, I don't remember his name. Big Canuck uh, is like giving everyone orders individually. So he'll tell you like, hey, you go, the player name, go get me Orca Milk. Player name, and then it'll be a second. And they'll be like, player name, go get me this. Or player name, test the soup. Or, or uh, throw a chunk of meat or a fish head out and be like, oh, I gotta tenderize this. And so you beat up on the thing or like, some somebody comes to attack the soup and so it's just a group of people working to build a communal soup that then everybody can eat and you get a nice hour-long buff from but it was just this thing where like your character responds with yes chef and every single time i would see a yes chef pop up over somebody's head and they would immediately run off and it just for some reason felt so i don't know it just felt really fun just watching somebody just run off after saying yes chef to go bring again steaming hot orca milk um or something like that to to or seaweed i had to go collect seaweed three times uh bring it back to him to to get the soup ready and then you build up the quality of the soup so the faster you go with your with your stuff you build up the quality of this soup which gives it a better buff at the end um and that's just like one thing and it's a repeatable like communal thing and then there's of course the dragon races which i've already said i really enjoy there's pokemon snap which i have not unlocked yet i just unlocked buried treasure stuff where I'm going to be looking around for like loose dirt and finding stuff in it and there's just a ton of stuff to do and it doesn't it doesn't all have to be something that goes with the story and I, I think that is why I like it more I don't know Ian's being a bitch ass again Bellion is Bellion is good. I mean, like, he's not good. None of I wouldn't say any of the black dragons are good. I don't know. Like but Sabellion is definitely uh less of a piece of shit than Rathian is. Again, would just like to point out Rathian started an interdimensional war. On purpose. So that we would quote unquote become stronger. I don't know how many thousands of people died in that. Uh, this is literally me. Oh yeah, that there was a weird bug where it was acting up there. Dan continues to be a little bitch. Uh, now he's going to. Uh, yeah, I could have just flown up there, and then it, I realized it makes you take fly with him. Dan's uh, not even technically Deathwing's kid. He's one of Deathwing's consorts' kids. 
but he's not there's no direct lineation but lineation lineation's a word right no but lineage there's no direct lineage i'm tired uh sam, sam was like trying to help me figure out the word i was trying to find um oh cutscene Young Rathian, I owe you my thanks. Your help was invaluable in securing my rightful place on the Obsidian Throne. Oh, I believe you're mistaken. This throne, this legacy, is my birthright. Ah, no. The mistake is yours. I was anointed caretaker of this flight by Neltharion himself. So let me be clear. When all is said and done, I will be the aspect of the Black Dragon flight. Is that so? <laughs> May the worthiest dragon win. Yeah, there's no direct lineage between Deathwing and him. Uh, just Deathwing's consort and him. So, there's no reason to think that that he's actually Deathwing's kid or a legitimate heir, while Sibelian is. So, and also Sibelian's less of a bitch. Like, I, I have to stress this. Rathian is a bitch. He's a cocky, self-assured asshole who has gotten thousands, if not more, killed. All because he thinks he's doing the correct thing and does not care what the cost is. And also, he's younger than me. He's a bitch. Um, I, I cannot wait to see if like what they do with who is going to be the next uh, black aspect because watch it actually be Abyssian like watch it be these two can't fucking decide so Abyssian's just like fine it's me or they make a try like they make a uh, uh, fucking um, triumvirate of black dragons to lead or something like that because there, there's no way they're gonna make a choice there's no way that they brought Sibelian back to just have him be the rival for Rathian and then give Rathian it. There's just no way. Um, yeah, we gotta talk to people about each Honor faction, or weapons. each leader, and... Yeah, I, I... In the weekly, I absolutely support Sibelian. Uh, I will support Sibelian again on, on this as well. Uh, on this character as well, because... Fuck Rathian. <laughs> I'll do the Rathian track second, and I'll get all of his unlocks eventually, but no, I am not. No. Fuck that. Uh, I mean, I... The only good Rathian did was the, was the nightmare shit in BFA. I'm trying to think of other things Rathian did. Oh, I guess he did stab Nazoth. That's it. He stabbed an old god with a knife. And also he helped us make the cloak so we could go into the, the horrific visions. That's it. That's all he did. Anyway, it's about time for uh, my microphone to come back on in a few seconds. So I'll see you in real time. This is from the future. Anyway, past me. Take it away again in uh, just a couple seconds. Yeah. To prepare for the Legion. I muted myself to cough and I forgot to unmute. I don't even know how long ago now. Shit, I've been talking about Sibelian and Rathian being a bitch and how cool Sibelian is this whole time. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to record some audio for post. God damn it. I hate having a cough. The aspects have returned. A leader is like a finely forged sword. They must be balanced, strong, and of pure metal. Though I like Rathian, he is untempered. 
Sabellion has been forged in fire. I believe he is what we need in a leader. Is there something you need? Sabellion rallied us on our land. Not only saving us from death, but from the corruption that befell our kin. All the rest, the other flights, glory-starved mortals, even that pretentious prince, chose to murder the afflicted rather than aid us. In got a point. Spellion did do that. Uh, who do I need to speak to? Come then, let us. He does what needs to be done. Honor and glory didn't help defeat the Shah or rid the world of mad dragons. Rathian did. Rathian did not defeat the Shah. Crazy. Yeah, I, I got a side with Sibelian on this character too. Like, I just don't trust Rathian. Speak your mind. without me. Okay. Yeah, so I was talking about Sibelian's past and Rathian's past and everything else and Oh god damn it, I'm so mad I left it fucking That wasn't on that wasn't on anything other than me. I just forgot to click the damn button. Tell me of Azeroth. Very well. We will meet again. Stay close, champion. We cannot afford for anything to happen to the wagon or its contents. Why are we taking this ridiculous contraption again? It's agonizingly slow. Our enemies will be on the lookout for us, and we cannot risk an encounter while transporting the eggs. So we shall travel as mortals do to avoid their gaze. If saving the future of your kind bores you, you are free to leave. I would welcome the silence. Champion, to me! It's still, uh, it's still messed up. My, my taskbar, or taskbar. Uh, I can't speak today. Uh, my your idea of action bar. Quiet whelp. I will risk no harm coming to the eggs. I could assist our dear champion in defending the wagon, you know. There's no reason they have to do all the dirty work themselves. And reveal ourselves to the enemy? Absolutely not. Stay in your seat. The horses will not move while the shield holds. Is getting ridiculous. How many random encounters must we suffer before you realize your ruse has failed? Let us take wing and be done with it. Oh, cease your fidgeting. If anything is putting us at risk of discovery, it is your childish impatience. The 
forces will not move while the shield holds. Well, that was a primalist. I don't think that's a very good sign. to change to finally i was worried the eggs would hatch before reaching the life pools oh, titans give me patience your kind echoes today puppets is this the leadership you offer our people? Perhaps the others will see reason now. Whelps these days. Meet me at the life pools proper, champion. This is far from over. Right. Let's go turn this in. Well, oh, the wagon's destroyed. Whoops. Hey, Sibelian. And you are? We are not bound by the shadows of our past. I am the future of the Black Dragonflight. What is the meaning of this, Sibelian? Where are the eggs? Yes, why don't you explain how your ridiculous plan destroyed the future of an entire flight? I apologize for any misunderstandings, Lifebinder, but any report of our extinction is premature. The eggs were never in danger. The cart and my presence were merely to draw the attention of our foes and allow my clutch to move unobserved. I have spent millennia rebuilding my flight. As Neltherian's heir, I pledge it and myself to you. What are you... These eggs are most welcome here, Sibelian. But your part in your father's twisted legacy has earned you no such privilege. I will ensure the eggs are cared for, but I will not be involved in your bickering. That is for the black, not the red, to decide. Rathian follows mommy Alex Strasa like the little bitch he is. Hey, what's up? Have you brought good tidings? Yes, I have. I long to see the eggs return. I long to see the eggs return. I wasn't moving. Where's the, oh, I was gonna say, where's the last overgrown root? Hey, I took care of everything for you. Hey, Alex Charles. Greetings. Fair skies and strong winds. The balance must be maintained. The red dragon flight will protect this world. From pain, we draw strength. At long last, our absent young are once more among us, so that they can be raised together with all the flights. 
Though these life pools were once bereft of eggs, they now contain our future. Truly, the calling of my flight has been fulfilled. I will see that these eggs are protected and loved, so that they may hatch into dragons, strong and wise. Yeah, Alex Charles got her powers back. Where there is life, there is hope. And that's zone one. Two of the oath stones have been renewed. Three more are needed if we are to have any hope of reclaiming our aspectral power and stopping Razageth. So yeah, that's uh, the next the next uh, thing will be next steps, and we will be uh, heading to the next zone. I don't think this is a super long main story if you uh, you just kind of go at it. So we'll see. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. I'm gonna go do post audio on this now. <laughs>